Hey, have we met? I have something I want to share with you today. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you think it's as cool as I do. If we haven't met Dallas, Texas, NARBC Reptile Show, I'm there right now. Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. I want to talk to you about an event I went to this past weekend, and I was asked to film a video for it, and I'm going to show you that video at the very end of this video. But we went out camping. And if you don't know where I'm at right now, then you obviously didn't watch the last video. But if you watched the video before that last video, the video before last, Leah mentioned that we were going to be going camping. And we did, but it wasn't just a camping trip. We were actually going out with our youth group to an event called Slow Serve. This event was definitely about getting our students out camping and being in that whole outdoor experience there. But even more importantly than that, it was about getting them out in the community to help serve as the name slow serve implies, volunteering, helping out, whether it was at a homeless shelter or even some students were walking around asking random businesses throughout the county if they could clean their bathrooms for them, going to retirement homes, helping out in people's backyards, you name it, just kids going out all over Slow County and just helping out where they could. I think one of the things that stood out to me the most at this event was how the students went out in public to the local college or even just downtown San Luis Obispo to go talk with random strangers and try and have deep, meaningful conversations with them just by engaging in small talk. And as, as middle schoolers and high schoolers, it was really inspiring to see Gen Z step up and, and do something like that. I think a lot of us uh, in our generation, my generation, you know, I'm, I'm 42, we think of kids and they're just on their phones and just kind of out of touch with reality. You know, the internet has like changed the way the world is, which is true. The internet has changed a lot of the way the world operates for those of us that are involved with the internet and not living off on some island in a third world country. But it was cool to see that that's just a stereotype that's not necessarily true of the kids of the younger generation and see that really put to work. I also had the opportunity to share a bit of my story with the whole group kind of around the campfire, but in a big, big campfire setting and, and just be really vulnerable. Because um, something you guys might not know about me is that I actually grew up pretty introverted and, and once I started helping out with the youth group, a bit of that started to creep back in. Like high school and middle school were pretty tough times for me as a person. And uh, to get to be that vulnerable and just share some of my struggles that I've been through um, my, my prayer was that it would be helpful for the students and helpful for the folks that were there. Um, but it was just a big blessing to me. And then the, the, these guys are so good with my kids too, who were also there, you know, my, especially my daughter in particular was having so much fun running around with all the older kids and such a huge blessing in our family's lives just to have that community and be part of it. Yeah, I actually just came back here to the office from youth group where the high schoolers were sharing some of their experiences this past weekend. and. <laughs> it's just been cool to witness. It's been such a huge change in my life just to be a part of what's happening here um, in our local community and, and getting to witness all of the good things that are happening. And it just gives me hope. As much as you've seen me be fairly optimistic on this channel, there's a lot of times darkness creeps, creeps in on a regular basis. And it, it, I'm not saying it doesn't from time to time, but I have so much more hope after being parts of events like these. And um, yeah, it's just really encouraging. And it's not gonna be the same for you just watching this through video versus actually being there and, and seeing it all firsthand. But I hope that, I hope that when you watch this that it touches you in, in the same way that it, it touched me to be there. It glorifies God because him sending his son and us receiving his teachings and forgiveness is what allows us to come together and do all these things. Having faith and living your life for God is the most important thing you can do. And I'm gonna tell you why. So we're currently headed out to Santa Margarita Lake to join 86 students who are on a camping trip called Slow Serve. The goal of Slow Serve is to push these students outside their comfort zone to love the community of San Luis Obispo County until the community members ask them why. And our students' response when they're asked why should be similar to what John wrote to his church in 1 John 4, 19, when he says, we love because Jesus first loved us.
watch over us and keep us safe. And thank you for the time that we have together. I first decided I was gonna do so serve. I wasn't really sure exactly why I wanted to do it. I just remembered that the past two years I've done it have been really, really fun. I think it's really changed how I have perceived work. Oftentimes I look at work as something that will help me get through the day. After this weekend, I have really felt a lot of joy. The connection with people has been more to me than just the work. <laughs> This is my second time coming to Slow Serve. Originally what I did when I was a freshman, I heard that it was like a camping experience that was um, obviously it was with the youth group and all of the youth group experience have been fun so far. So I was like, sure, why not? I like camping. And I went to work. My first group was awesome. And I really enjoyed it. So I was like, I want to come again. This year was unique because it rained and it was certainly wet for Friday, but this group that we also had, it was really an amazing group. So I got lucky. Well, I got really lucky twice in a row. I definitely will come again because not only do I get to have fun camping and working, I also get to get closer to Jesus and read the Bible more. So that's a big perk. This is my first time with Slow Surf. Going to the uh, Special Olympics, that was fun. Seeing the different personalities. I get to like show people the same love that Jesus gave us and just show them how like he changed my life and how he can change yours and stuff. So it's kind of cool. I would 100% go back to Slow Surf. I really liked pulling weeds. It's just mad satisfying. <laughs> James, he was Jesus' brother. I was reading it and it goes, faith without works is dead. It's the love that you have for God that makes you want to work for him. Well, I hope that hit you right in the feels or made you smile, made you laugh, something. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and uh, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next video. Aloha. <laughs>